with so many new releases in beauty makeup, it can get really overwhelming at times. So what I wanted to do today was take a step back and take a peek at some things that were really good that nobody talks about anymore. Nobody mentions them anymore. I hardly ever hear about them, but man, these are good OG favorites of mine. Also, a couple of things that were released a long time ago, but I just personally discovered them. And so they're OG favorites of a lot of people, but I don't hear any of these being talked about. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a step back in the past and we're going to take a look at some fun OG makeup. So hang with me. We're going to get into it. Hi friends and going through my makeup and showing you all of my makeup recently, I discovered so many things that I went, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Why am I not using that more? And one of the best parts about them is they're all found at the drugstore. Let's get into it because I got a few to show you. So the first thing that I noticed when I was going through all of this is there was a couple of Rimmel things. Now Rimmel can be gotten very easily at Amazon. You can go into, I think CVS and both Walgreens have them and Walmart does, my Walmart did anyway. So these are the Rimmel Maxi Blush and this blush right here which is called rendezvous this darker one is the one that I have on today and I think it's so pretty it's one of those kind of plummy blushes it reminded me so much of one that I have from Mac that I absolutely love even the texture reminded me of that one and then this one the other one is called third base so these two are just so nice they're so luxurious i think that if you were somebody and you stuck your finger into this and you stuck your finger into a mac one you wouldn't be able to tell the difference in the two and they wear like a dream they're so pretty i know that the trend right now is really leaning towards a lot of cream products but when you have powders like this at the drugstore that are only about what six dollars seven dollars something like that it's so nice to be able to have that option too and i really think these are beautiful Next product I pulled out of my stash and I was like, what is wrong with me? This was my favorite foundation for years and it's still one of my favorite foundations. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Do you guys remember when YouTube went bananas for this? And then all of a sudden L'Oreal was releasing all kinds of offshoots of it. They had the Pro Matte and they had a few others. Well, this one, oh my goodness, this is the one that started it all. It is the one that I have on today. It gives a natural finish, not dewy. It says glow on it, but it's not really Glowy. The glow that you're seeing from me today is a definite highlighter that I'm going to show you in a second. This one just gives you a soft satin finish, and that's what I love about it. It lasts all day long. It doesn't oxidize on me, although the color that I have is just a little bit too on the warm side for me, so I do have to color correct it a bit. And I'll tell you, my color is nude beige, nude beige 203. So I really love this. I love the texture of it. It's very thin. It doesn't sit on your skin and feel like heavy makeup on your skin. It's beautiful. And it's one of those ones that I felt like, oh man, we need to pull that out of our stash and start using it again because this one gives you a flawless look to your skin. Now, if you're somebody that really doesn't like having any foundation on their face at all but you feel like as you get older you need a little bit of coverage maybe you have dark spots maybe you have an uneven unevenness you might really like to try the number seven match made customizable foundation drops these are so good now you're going to see that i have this in a really dark color i have it in this dark walnut because i have use this as a color that goes in other colors in the summer when I'm self tanning to help warm up my foundations, but it's a very cool color. Now, when I take this off, you're going to see that it has just a really tiny little dropper. One drop of this in anything, if you wanted to put it into a primer, if you wanted to put it into a moisturizer, in anything like that, is going to make you have a light to medium coverage foundation. And then if you wanted to go further, you just put a little bit more in there. This is phenomenal. Now I'll tell you on my normal color in all of these, 
it's cool ivory and that is a perfect color for me in the winter time it's a match for me that's perfect i adore this i really really love it and it's so pigmented like i said and you're going to really be able to customize whatever you want to i myself am going to pick up more my color of these very soon because as we get into summer i want to be able to utilize that feature of just putting a couple of drops into a moisturizer or into a primer and to be able to just really quickly put that on and you're out the door. I love these. I think they're great. If you're looking for something like that, this is your ticket. Really great for being able to darken up or lighten up colors too because they have a super light one and then they have the darker one. And then another one that one of you told me about that I am in love with. This is the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. This one gives me so much volume to my eyelashes. I have a lot of length on my eyelashes because I use an eyelash growth serum, but I don't have a tremendous amount of volume. So this helps maximize the volume and yet still keep those eyelashes really super soft. And I love that about it. And the other thing is I don't feel like it just clumps into one. So the brush is quite nice. It is a natural bristle brush. Normally I'm one that goes for the silicone or plastic bristle brush, but I really enjoy this one because it does seem to separate each individual lash and then coat it and then you're able to get that fuller look and then if you want to you can go in with more of a lengthening one and tip your eyelashes which is what i do i use maybelline sky high and i'll go in and tip that but another one that i've really been oh by the way the full and soft has not been flaking or smudging on me at all so i'm really enjoying that and then i went and I picked up one of these. Now, I have had the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in the original black color, the blackest black, and I've also had it in the blue color and loved it. They came out with this purple, and you guys know I had to be jumping on that. I love this. This is so much fun. Now, you're not going to be able to tell this right now, but I did just tip the bottom of my lashes and the top of my lashes with this, and it's so much fun when you're in person because you can see that little subtlety of that mascara and so what i'll do is i'll put my regular mascara on and then i'll just tip my lashes with this mascara blue really stands out it just really will just pop your eyes and it's really a lot of fun you can use this on its own too and it's going to give you that purple tone lashes for me my lashes are a little bit more sparse so i like to have the depth of the black on there first and then go in with a color like this just for something fun and just for something playful i really have enjoyed using this and playing with it and i'm going to go back and i'm going to get the blue again because i really have been having fun with that. Another OG favorite, this is an OG favorite of mine, but I never heard anybody talk about this, hardly at all, is these Koki Cream Blushes. Now, I've kind of rubbed everything off because I use this like crazy. This is a cream highlighter that I think is every bit as beautiful as any other cream highlighter I've ever used. It's one of those that just gives this soft, ethereal look to your skin without showing up texture and without having any sort of pinpoint glitter or any high beam shimmer in it. Now you can go super high beam if you want to because it does have that reflect in it, but it's just gorgeous. Now I think that it comes in two or three other colors. I'm not sure. I'll make sure I link that for you, but it's just one of those that you have on all day because it is that cream formula that dries down and it's so soft and silky. And I really, really like this. It's, it's what I have on. Of course, it's what I have on today, but it is a really beautiful high-end product at the drugstore. Now I do know that if you have a Kroger, let's see, Kroger, Fred Meyer, Smith's, that kind of store that is owned by the parent company that is Kroger, those stores carry Koki in my local store. So look for that in your stores if you're looking for it, because I know that no other stores carry it except for Rite Aid used to, but you can get this and I'll make sure that I link, link it for you so that you can get it online as well. And it's really, really inexpensive. So beautiful product from the drugstore as well. And then one of my very favorites, this goes back, what, probably 10 years, the L'Oreal True Match when they came out with all of those products, I was in love with those products and I still am. But this is one of my favorite blushes and it's one that I found when I was going through my collection too This one is I better grab my glasses or I'll never be able to tell you This one is c5 and 6 rosy outlook Beautiful blush. These were blushes that 
kind of went by that cool or warm or neutral theme that I talk about so much on my videos. This is a definitely a cool one and it's definitely a light one. So it's got that really light cast of pink to it and just so much fun. L'Oreal's cosmetics to me are that high end. Of course, you know they're owned by Estee Lauder as their parent company, so they share formulas. So if you're interested in looking at some of Estee Lauder's formulas or some of their makeup, go ahead and look at L'Oreal because you're going to see almost the same things, but at drugstore. Now, L'Oreal for me definitely is the higher end of drugstore. I realize that, but I really do love these blushes. The powder in this True Match is a wonderful powder as well. This is a really, really good product. The next one is one that actually is from L'Oreal as well. <laughs> this one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Longwear Eye Pencil in Purple Violet. This is so saturated and so beautiful. And if you get the chance to wearing this in your waterline, it lasts really well. And remember my little tip that I told you guys about wearing it in your waterline, doing a coat and then going ahead and putting another coat on because that helps it to last. I do have this on my bottom um, lash line, just a little bit in the corner. And then I smudged it out for a softer look, but you can go as bold as you want to. And you can also use this on your top lash line as well, just for a pretty pop of color. Beautiful, beautiful formula. It just glides and it doesn't tug. They do have a lot of bright, vibrant colors of these, and I just think they're ones that you will really enjoy and really like. Now, if you're wondering why I'm shaking so bad, COVID has done a number on me, and so many of you know that I did get COVID. For some reason, after COVID, my disability, which is I do have a hand tremor, which is either a familial tremor or an essential tremor, if you're familiar with either of those, they can be exacerbated by what you get as far as if you get sick or if you're more nervous or anything. So I'm not more nervous today because I'm so happy to be sitting here filming. Seems like I haven't done that for weeks, but I'm dealing with that, the after effects of COVID. So thank you for the gift that keeps on giving, which is COVID. Okay, this other one, you know what? I can't decide if this is new or not because this is from Wet n Wild and this packaging down here says new, but I stock the Ulta website. And so whenever I see anything new come out, I am on that all over it. And I never saw this come out. Maybe it was one of those that slipped through the cracks, but this is a really, really good powder and I'm excited about it. This is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. It says it has vegan collagen, tea tree, and vitamin E. This is such a soft, lovely powder. And I don't even think it was $4. It was really inexpensive. And I was really surprised. Now, you can see that I've got quite a bit on this finger right here, but I really went over this a lot. This is what I set all of my makeup with today. And it gives such a soft focus. I can really feel that vitamin E in here, something that is very soothing. The clarifying part, I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about as far as clarifying that usually for me means that you're trying to get rid of blemishes. But in this case where it says it has collagen and tea tree and vitamin E, those are all anti-aging ingredients. Although the collagen molecule, FYI, don't ever buy anything that is a skin treatment that says it has collagen in it because the collagen molecule is too big to pass through our skin layer. Just so you know, never gets in there. You have to build collagen from the inside out or with Retin-A. So little side point there, but I do love this. I think it's a great powder. It's one of those ones that isn't too powdery. It's not going to make you look cakey. It feels very soft and very creamy. And I love that about it. And it's one that I was pleasantly surprised. If that's new to you guys, let me know because it's definitely new to me. And I just thought it was one that was around forever and I hadn't seen it. Now I want to tell you about these. Essence has had these out for quite some time and I have had this one called Salute to Paris. These are a 10 pan eyeshadow palette from Essence. I should say that first. Now I've had this one that it's called Salute to Paris for a long time. 
I love these colors. I think it got a little bit redundant in this particular one where they put in two of the really light white colors. They could have done without that and put in something else, maybe a pearl, a lighter white pearl, or they could have gone with like maybe a light peach or anything in here. But this is a very cool toned palette. Even the colors that are over here, um, which by the way, when I stick my finger in here, you wanna talk buttery. These shadows are super buttery, these mattes. And this one is the one that I worked with today a lot. I have another one on with it, but and I'll show you that in a second. But these, they're not like super deeply pigmented, but they can be built up, which I do like about them. And the other thing I love about them is how buttery and soft and easy, easily blendable they are. They're really, really beautiful. So that one is the Salute to Paris. By the way, these are about $10. This one is Bonjour Montreal. And I think that this one is probably my favorite. And even though it has, by the way, this does have a mirror up in this part, and then it has all of its graphics are so cool. They're just really cool. I think that having that embossing on there is really beautiful. And then you get a picture of the actual city. It's just really pretty. There's the Paris one I should show you. And I just really enjoy these. Now, this one from Montreal, it has this beautiful green in it. It does have a couple of pretty warm colors in here. This one right here, which is kind of a copper color. And then this one that's next to it, which is kind of a brownish color, but they're not so warm that you can't work with them. But this green down here is so pretty. I mean, hello, look at that thing. Isn't it gorgeous? I just have fallen in love with these. I actually remembered these after I had seen Stephanie Marie talk about the next one I'm gonna show you, which is the Berlin one. Hello, Berlin. I think this is gorgeous. I went and picked this one up and I picked up the Bonjour Montreal one too at the same time. But I was so excited because I already had the Salute to Paris one and she had reminded me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta go get some more of those because I remember how really good they are. Now you have these beautiful greens in here. You have this black in here, which is actually a pretty good deepened black. I mean, sometimes it can be really hard to do black, but that's a pretty darn good black that you could do a smoky look with. And then these other two greens in here, they are definitely matte and definitely beautiful to work with. So much fun. And I just have enjoyed this so much. Now, today what I did was I took the peach color in here and then the lighter color that is down here. I mixed them together. I did my transition color and then I went in with Salute to Paris and I used these colors that are deeper out here and then I used the brown to deepen up the outside and then I used this light light pink all over the inside and in my inner corner and these are so good. They're so much fun. I don't remember anybody ever talking about them, but the Salute to Paris is one of my OG favorites, and now these two are gonna be some of my OG favorites. If you find any in this particular formula, I know everybody's been talking about that little six pan, which those are fantastic from Essence, but these are good too, and I think that they've been way overlooked. So I think that that's everything today. I think that I shared with you everything I wanted to. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you're all doing very well and that everything is going good in your life. Down below in the comment section, if there's anything that is your OG favorite that from the drugstore that nobody ever talks about anymore, let me know that because it might become my OG favorite too. And I can share it with everybody else here as well. I love you guys so very much. Let's meet back here in my next video. Take care of yourselves in the meantime, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye, my friends.